Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the word. Hey, my question today for you is this. Um, what or who are you going to imitate? You're going to find as you go through life, and especially if you notice it with your kids too. You're, you notice it. I'm going to use the kids as an example. You notice it with your kids. They um, are imitating someone all the time. It might be a popular music star. It might be an actor. It might be a friend they have, um, or it could be one of their enemies or something like that. It could be you as a parent um, that they're imitating or, uh, or so someone else. Um, but they're, they're, you can see how they imitate that person and kind of do some of the same things that person does. All right. Um, you might have your children and, and um, your your child, your, say your son is with you and um, you go someplace and someone says, oh, wow, I can tell. That's your son. He does the exact same thing you do. He, he does this and this and, and talks the way you do and, and all that stuff. Um, and so you, you find that you imitate uh, people uh, or other things, uh, but you imitate uh, people. You have to choose, however, what you're going to imitate. All right. So I want to read here today. We're taking three days to go through uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 13 to 16. And this is the second episode of that uh, series. Um, and it's entitled today, What Are You Going to Imitate? So let me read uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 13 to 16 here. It says this, And we also thank God continually, because when you receive the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it not as a human word, but as, it, but as it actually is the word of God, which indeed as it work in you who believe. Okay, so we talked about that. That's all about the word of God. We talked about that yesterday. So now we're moving on to verse 14. For you brothers and sisters became imitators of God's churches in Judea, which are in Christ Jesus. You suffered from your own people the same things those churches suffered from the Jews who killed the Lord Jesus and prophets and also drove us out. They displease God and are hostile to everyone in their effort to keep us from speaking to the Gentiles so that they may be saved. In this way, they also heap up their sins to the limit. The wrath of God has come upon them at last. Okay, so that first section, that first verse, it talked about the word of God, but then it's talking about imitating okay so uh, and what you're going to imitate so in verse 14 it says for you brothers and sisters became imitators okay good they became imitators it was obvious they became Im imitators what did they become imitators of it says of god's churches in judea which are in christ jesus okay so it, this letter is written to the church okay in case you didn't know but we're uh, we are a people we're Christians and we're a part of the church. So it's written to those Christians in that church. All right. And he says, you Christians in that church, I see that you're imitating God's churches in, in, in Judea. Not just one church, but, but God's church is in, in Judea. Um, and these churches are in Christ Jesus. So it's not just some willy-nilly church, but it's a church that's actually following uh, Jesus here. Um, and so Paul is commending them for that. Hey, I see that you're following your imitators of those churches. Okay, so several things here. Um, uh, first of all, if you're a church, if you're someone, well, let me start with who, who you choose to imitate. You should be imitating um, other Christians and um, ultimately you're imitating Jesus. Okay. Okay. Um, but then also we can take um, a little bit of guidance from other Christians in into how they live. Okay, and so hopefully we're following that. Now, if they're not li living biblically, uh, let's say they're preaching the gospel, but then they're you know uh, living with their girlfriend or whatever, then you're like, uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, now, naturally, we all have sin, but when we choose to continually live in that sin, that's a different uh, story here. So. Um, you have to choose who you're going to imitate. But the other point I want to make is you're going to find that people are imitating you, okay? You're involved in the church, 
and you have to, you, you're the one that's being imitated. All right. So you have to evaluate as you're going throughout your day. Um, these people are following you. And, and it goes back to the scripture, you know, if something offends a brother, you know, I'm not going to do it. Uh, and so uh, for me, there's certain uh, things that it might not, you know, come out and say, thou shalt not do this in the Bible. But I choose not to do those things because I know people are imitating me. Okay. Uh, I, I won't get into all the different things, um, but there's things that I choose not to do because I know people are imitating me, and if if they see me doing those things, it might cause them to stumble. And so I choose not to do those things. So you should be a person also that um, people can, can imitate, okay? And you don't wanna be a person that is, um, he says, oh yeah, I'm a Christian, yet you're ending up at the bar every night and uh, sleeping with a different woman every night and, and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. And you say, oh yeah, I love the Lord. And you're like, what kind of craziness is that? Um, so you need to be uh, following God. I'm not saying you need to be perfect, um, but you should be uh, striving to be sanctified. And so we should be people that could be, uh, people should be uh, wanting to imitate. Uh, wanting to follow us okay so two things there look for people you can imitate and then look at also at your life and it, hopefully people can imitate you okay I, I don't know how many times I said the word imitate or imitation in this episode today maybe you can count them up if you're bored here but anyway that's um, what I wanted to talk about today what are what or who are you going to imitate Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through 1 Thessalonians. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.